Roy. All right, so I got a spreader here. Went to the tractor supply store, got ourselves a spreader. Picked up a little spreader so we can spread some salt. We're gonna end up putting it on the grizz. On the grizz. Yeah. Runs off battery. Gonna put some salt in the lot. As you can see, nice and snowy. What do you say we got? I'd say we got about six, seven inches. Six or nine inches. Six or nine inches. Give or take. We yeah. Got, we got some snow out there for sure, I'd say. Let's, uh, we got the, we got a spreader. Got to figure out how this thing goes together. And, uh. It goes together just like that. So, um. Here goes nothing. Yep. Some of it's already assembled. Find anything good? Not superbly. All right, guys, so uh, it goes something about like that. Trying to figure out how we're going to mount this uh, plate that it came with Give me your knife. onto the Grizz in the I back. I lost rack. my knife. Give me your knife. He lost his knife. It's in the snow somewhere, I think. All right, well, Ben is uh, working with the plate back there, trying to get the adapter so that that thing can mount up. I'm gonna start over here with the wiring. Seems pretty straightforward. You All you do is plug it in and pull it, plug it in. You plug it into your cigarette lighter. And you plug it then in. Then there's the an end on the little thingy, on the dinghy. You know, you gotta switch. So all I have to do is route it. So here we go. All right guys, uh, so whoever designed this clearly did not think, or it's not very grizzly friendly. We're gonna have to drill a hole because the holes that uh, the holes that are provided are off centered. So uh, we're gonna do that. Just gonna bolt it up. We'll see what we got. All right. So does it fit now? I need to drill a second hole, you Maran. You Maran. If she bolts up. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so that's our last hole. Let's get her in there. All right. Okay, so Ben's about ready to put the the tank on. All we have to do is put in the two pins to make it nice and easy on you. So, gotta get her in. And uh, we'll show you when it's all mounted up. All right, so the actual tub is now mounted. Now we have to uh, get to, uh, the thing that Ben has that works with the gate that opens and closes it, controls how much comes out. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I think we have her installed. All we have to do is uh, hook up the little itty bitty connector and uh, put some salt in it. And, uh, right now we're just gonna get the Grizzly battery to charge because she's a little dead. Uh, and then we'll be out, we'll go load some salt and spreader. We'll show you that and then uh, we'll go actually do the action of spreading the salt. All right, so we got a little bit of an installation to end of review. To do salt on the driveway, which I really hate to do, um, is because we got with all the tractor trailers, uh, it presents issues when um, the tractors run over snow, it packs it down pretty tight, and then the skid steer will not break the ice up the sheet that it creates. So, we're gonna spread some salt on it to try to melt it. And then probably go back and just get later to clean her back up. Okay. All right, guys. So we got it wired up. It's really easy. All you got to do is hit the little switch. Well, the quad's off. You got to hit the little switch. And it just turns on. 
not too much to it just goes to your cigarette lighter and uh We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it works. All right. Idiot. First time we're gonna turn it on. Locked it. Spinning? Yes, yeah, she's spinning. We got a little bit. coming out. Huh. Okay, so the uh, buyer's ATV spreader that runs off the bubble plug-in. Uh, for our application, we had salt and it was, it was, it was pretty chunky. We probably could have broken it down and got a little finer. Um, once you put a lot of weight in it, it didn't really work too good, um, just because it was like salt backs up. But as far as seeds go, and fertilizer, I bet this this yeah, I bet it would work wonders. Would work wonders, because um, when when and it wasn't the spreader's fault, because once salt was pouring out of the chute, yeah, I was doing it fine, really good, and it got good coverage. But as soon as the salt backed up, which is just the nature of salt. That's when we started having issues. Versus something like this spreader, which I tried to use, and this little hand spreader. All of them had the same problem. The the holes were too small to even think about letting any salt. Like, all in all. Although it is marketed for salt, so it should have done a little bit better, but, but we could also have better salt than what we were using. We were using road salt. I mean, I guess that's what you're gonna use, but like we could have had sacks from a store. I don't know if that's any different or not. Um, one issue we had, which was on our end, our four wheelers end, we broke this bar off. The the plate we put on it. The plate, like we did, it had to mount to two spots that way it wouldn't rotate. And when we put it on here, we mounted it. And then slowly and gradually it just started working its way down. So we bend it back and then slowly and gradually work its way down again. And then I was back in the shop talking to my dad and a couple of his buddies and Jake's like comes running back. He's like, man, man, man. And the bar was broke off. So we undid everything, took it off, called it quits on the salt spreading. But that could just be us because uh, it was definitely has these little end. tech welds. Most four wheelers have a better system. And if you are to use this with salt, I would highly recommend not filling it more than halfway full. I wouldn't even fill it halfway. I'd a quarter would halfway. still be too much. Just because, like I said, salt, the nature of salt, it backs up so easy. Which, I mean, fertilizers and stuff do it too when they get wet. But this stuff is just like beyond, it was just too much. So, yeah. Um, all in all, it's a good product. I buy it again. Um, just, just for all purpose use. It was really easy to set up. I thought it would be a little harder. Very easy to set up. The only issue is, is like right now, we, we aren't really able to uh, use it because the four-wheeler broke, but we'll, we'll figure something out here. So two issues, just salt doesn't work the best, and uh, it's uh, the weight broke it. But that was entirely our fault. If you weren't using it in the same application, it'd be just fine. <laughs> so better uh different four wheelers have different style racks and it'll work out good for you guys so i i i i, I give the product a solid mm, mm. seven out of ten eight out of ten i give it a seven out of ten seven out of ten
thank you guys for watching Black Smoke Garage. Um, if you would, please comment and uh, subscribe. Subscribing really helps us out. Um, if you like, it really helps us out. It gets our name out there to more people and draws more attention to our channel. So please do us a favor. Thank you.